my name is David Elvis Jansen Jr. And as a bona fide artist starving for the truth, I welcome you back to Vegan's Venue for our premier open stage presentation of The Fugitive, Wisdom of the Beaver. Okay, folks, we're all familiar with this iconic so-called suitcase poster for The Fugitive, the wildly popular TV series starring my father, David Jansen Sr. But I bet not one of you has ever seen this poster, which actually came three months before it, this proposed poster for The Fugitive, Wisdom of the Beaver, starring Jerry Mathers as the beaver and the versatile Barry Morris as Beaver's mother, Mrs. Cleaver. So folks, a little bit of background on how this poster came to be. It was June 1963, and filming for the sixth season of Leave it to Beaver was just about to wrap up, and the cast looked forward to a good summer rest before the fall filming started on the seventh season. Jerry the Beaver Matthews was also just about to wrap up his studio schooling for the year. The final assignment from his English tutor was to read Henry David Thoreau's On Walden's Pond. Well, after digesting the entire book in one long cram session, the beaver started to think real, real hard. And he decided to change the course of his life forever and to leave the show. The entire cast was angry with his decision even though Beaver did agree to make one final episode before taking off for good. This final episode, written by Beaver himself, would explain why the show was ending. Barbara Billingsley, who played June Cleaver, Beaver's mother for six years, read the script for The Fugitive, Wisdom of the Beaver, the script that Beaver had written, and refused to be a part of it. Billingsley's chauffeur drove her home for the last time and returned to the set to volunteer to play Beaver's mother, at least until a replacement could be found. The chauffeur's name was Barry Morse. More about this versatile actor later. To get to the heart of this entire spiel, the final episode was actually going to be released as a Hollywood film and work on a poster to promote it was begun immediately. While a studio artist painted the poster from life, Jerry Mathers, wearing his father Ward Cleaver's smoking jacket, and with a badly battered suitcase in hand, and with Barry Morse wearing the very same dress, spiked heels, and wig that Barbara Billingsley had worn for six years and had left in the trunk of his limo, the two of them began to rehearse their dialogue. Of course, the diligent photo artist photographed every profound word of the script by this never-before-revealed mother-and-son conversation. And away we go. First, Mother June Cleaver asked her son, the Beaver Cleaver, What do you plan on doing with that suitcase, Beaver? Beaver responds respectfully. I know you and Dad meant well in bringing me up the way you did, but you both made a terrible mistake, and I'm running away from the world you created for me. Mom says. I don't understand, Beav. Ward and I brought you up just like everybody else's parents in the neighborhood brought up their children. Beav snorts. Yeah, that's the trouble. You never asked me what I wanted or even considered. I might not want what you wanted for me. Mom gets a bit defensive. I have no idea what you're talking about, young man. Put down my honeymoon suitcase and explain yourself, wise guy. So the wise beaver gets to the point. Well, you see, Mom, the single biggest decision a modern-day human can make is whether they want to live in a so-called modern and civilized but totally unnatural world. Or do they want to live in a totally natural world, living off the land in small nomadic groups, like humans did 50,000 years ago? No one ever bothered to ask me what I wanted. 
Did you ever think maybe I didn't want to drink milk that came from the udder of a cow? A cow that was imprisoned on a farm or in a factory? Or did you ever think that maybe I didn't want to eat baby food made from the ground up muscles of murdered animals? Mama Cleaver responds confidently. Don't be foolish. How could we ask you anything like that when you were a little child? And now that you are old enough to make a decision, you can decide for yourself if you want to be a hippie dropout. Beaver enlightened his mother. Mom, sure I couldn't decide when I was real young, but now it's just too late for me to decide. Mom says, it's never too late. Beaver answers, yes it is. Until I was old enough to decide whether I wanted to live in an artificial and scripted modern life or a natural life, the life our bodies and brains developed and were meant to live, you should have in those young years taught me living skills of both lifestyles. Mom disagrees. You're way off base, Junior. Our bodies and minds have certainly evolved over the past 50,000 years to be at home in this modern world we all love and are comfortable in. But even if that isn't the case, how reward myself to be expected to do anything but what the Jones did? Beeb speaks sincerely. I don't blame you and Dad. I know you're not geniuses, but certainly the public school should have been smart enough to train me in both lifestyles. I'm sure they will someday, because you're wrong, Mom, about the human being have, having changed in the last thousands of years to want to live in this modern existence where the only really satisfied people are those few that rule and control our world. Evolution takes place over millions of years, not thousands. We're the exact same people who lived in caves, and our minds are the same minds which demanded a daily challenge of survival. June concedes. I can see your point, Beeb. So go ahead and run away from the establishment and see if you're happy living like a caveman without toilets and fresh underwear. Beeb can only say, I'm going to go ahead and leave this theme park world we live in and try to find a more natural world but it's probably too late for me. The life skills I need to live a natural life have to be taught starting at infancy, but I'll do my best. June adds, I respect your wishes, but be careful and don't forget your family loves you. I'd better give Ward the news that you're running away after you're gone, or he might swat the crap out of you with his Wall Street Journal. B picks up a suitcase and says, I'm not running away. I'm walking forward towards a real life, a life that doesn't destroy every non-human thing on the planet in the pursuit of comfort and longevity. I'm leaving behind a world that tells you that you're free while you're denied the most important decision a human being can make, the choice to be raised to live a natural life off the land instead of being conditioned to accept an artificial scripted life filled with machines, repetitive work, entertainment, and worst of all, social isolation. Tell Wally and Dad I love them, and maybe someday after I find my world, or at least the most natural world I can live in with my limited survival skills, all of you might want to join me once in a while. As Beaver picks up his suitcase, he scoffs softly but wisely. Yeah, I'm real free free to take the daily drug called civilization or its generic counterpart called progress. Man, am I pissed off. As a footnote to this parable of the beaver, it should be pointed out that the fugitive wisdom of the beaver was, not surprisingly, never actually filmed for lack of a sponsor or investor willing to upset the cart, which makes them the wealthy and the powerful the ones that selfishly shape the modern world for their own benefit, not for the betterment of the masses who mostly lead lives of quiet desperation and go to the grave with the natural song still in them. On a lighter note, it should also be mentioned that Quinn Martin saw Barry Morse rehearsing the Mrs. Cleaver part and was so impressed that he cast Morse as the police Lieutenant Gerard obsessed with the capture of my father, David Jansen Sr., also known as Dr. Richard Kimball, on Quinn's own version of The Fugitive, which curiously premiered just three months 
after Leave it to Beaver left the air and just two months before JFK was silenced. A free public service message from your local starving artist. Indonesia only.